We had a uh, cornucopia of trailers released recently, if you didn't know. Sonic 3, the one with Shadow, the edgy, dark Sonic the Hedgehog, that came out. Keanu Reeves is voicing the character. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. You have two Jim Carreys in this movie. He's playing two different characters, Dr. Robotnik and Robotnik's brother. This is what we do. Whenever you get far enough into a movie franchise or a TV show, there's always a relative that comes out of nowhere that's never been mentioned before. It's like, oh yeah, Pepper, my brother Pepper, the crazy zany one who's been in and out of prison, is coming over for dinner. That's Pepper. Seriously, every sitcom eventually will do this. After four or five seasons, they're like, shit, we gotta have something new happen. Okay, maybe uh, Phoebe has like a twin sister and she's even more kooky than Phoebe is. And uh, maybe on this show we'll do, you get my point. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm okay with this because Jim Carrey's great and he's a very dynamic, ranged actor. So seeing him play two different characters, always a fun time. But Sonic looks good, action packed. Keanu Reeves voicing Shadow. He's got a gun for some reason. I am old enough to know that edgy Shadow the Hedgehog had a motorcycle and he brandished a gun. He had his own spin-off game and he he's cropped up from time to time. He's part of the roster. He's part of the regular crew. Now, if we start getting these other bullshit characters like Amy and Rouge and Big the Cat and Cream the Rabbit, I I'm out. I can't do it. I can't do the crocodile with bling. Why do I know so many Sonic characters? This is just disturbing. I will say also in the trailer, there was a, a Chao, a Chao, Chao, never pronounced that correctly. There's a Chao garden. They, they eat at a restaurant and there's Chao mascots. Uh, I also am old enough to remember having a Sega Dreamcast. I actually still have it um, down yonder. You can't see it in frame, but there's a there's a Dreamcast over there with the control. You know what? Let me show you. Right here, we got uh, we got a Dreamcast right here. This was the controller. Look at this chestnut. And what happened is, oh, you have like a little tiny Game Boy. You have a little cute little tiny Game Boy right in the controller. Isn't that fun? And with Sonic Adventure, which was a launch title on the Dreamcast. Listen, I, I can barely list the 50 states in America, but I can tell you some random shit about a Sega Dreamcast and a bunch of characters from Sonic the Hedgehog that I don't need to know ever. The, uh, this game was like, you could do like mini games on here. In football, you could pick John Madden plays secretly so they wouldn't show up on the screen so your douchebag friend didn't cheat and look every single time, Jerry! I know you're looking at me! How else would you know I was gonna do that route? Uh, but the Cheo Garden was in Sonic Adventure. You could go visit. Might have been in Sonic Adventure 2, now that I think about it. I think it was in 1. These little shits, these little Cheos, you put in this garden, they run around, they eat fruit, they sleep, they exercise. And when you weren't playing the game, you could pop this out of the controller, put it in your pocket, save it for later, and you could walk your Cheo. You could walk your Chow. You could feed your Cheo, you could like rub its belly, do things, interact with it. It was great. It was like a little pocket monster, a little Pokemon. State of the art stuff here. And then you pop it back in and you're ready to play some more. Sega Dreamcast ahead of its time. It even had internet capabilities. Probably couldn't list more than 10 presidents, but I can tell you 20 characters in a Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog game. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Sonic 3, the trailer. It looks fun. Looks like a good time. I like the first two. Second one was a little long, especially with the, the whole Bridezilla wedding stuff seemed completely unnecessary. But yeah, good movies, way better than they probably should be. And uh, this one looks fun. And they're never gonna stop making these either. So they, I think they already announced a fourth is on the way. Amy Rose is gonna be there before you know it with her trusty hammer. Why do I know this? On a sad note, we have two Disney movies that dropped trailers today or yesterday, or whenever, I don't know. The time is a construct and I've lost all measure of it. Lilo and Stitch, live action. Kill me. This is a teaser and to its credit, it's different. We get a Moana-esque shot of the ocean with the Walt Disney Castle, the Magic Kingdom. We do a pullback. And in comes Stitch like a Godzilla. Rawr! 
Ohana means family. <laughs> Destroys that thing. It was a fun little cute scene. I will say the design on Stitch looks pretty solid. It looks a lot better than some of those early uh, renders we had years back where he looked like absolute nightmare fuel. Uh, I dug it. I dug the teaser. If the full movie keeps the vibe of this and it's not just a complete boring ass retread with the same music, the same exact storyboard shots, I'll be fine with it. Treat it as something special and new. Don't just recreate the same shit again. The animated one is still great. It holds up wonderfully. It has a unique art style. The characters are hilarious. The world is vibrant. You're not going to recreate that in this 3D space. So you need to do something new. And this, and this teaser works because it's different. I hope the same goes for the movie. Massively uh, disappointed with the announcement. Upon seeing the teaser, I'm tepidly making my way into the interest category. All right, I'm not so jaded that I can't at least give them a chance, even though Disney has been nothing but ruining any goodwill they had with all of the remakes in the past. History has not been kind in the last few years with my relationship and Disney in the movie realm. Okay, the other one that doesn't look at all good to me is Snow White. Snow White looks terrible. And I don't care about Rachel Zegler. Was she right for the role? Well, no, because Snow White is freaking white as shit. And that's like her characteristic. Skin is white as snow. And I know they changed the character's backstory to make up for the fact that now Snow White looks great. She's got a good tan. Uh, bad casting. I think, personally, because um, because what we're doing here is we're probably going to remake the same stupid movie again that we've all seen, been on the freaking ride at Disney World. You got the CG dwarves in this one. They look like trash from the teaser. It just did nothing. It's not even a teaser. I think it's a full second trailer or something. Nothing here stood out to me as exciting. And I'm having a really hard time. Having a really hard time stretching my brain around the fact that the evil queen is smoke show Gal Gadot, who's jealous of Zegler, who's got this terrible haircut going on. I know it's supposed to be like the animated one. It's not one to one. It's not working. But you're telling me that the queen is, is jealous? This smoke show statuesque model is looking in the mirror and going, oh, I what am I doing here? I got to look like this person and not myself. She's Wonder Woman. You don't cast Wonder Woman to get jealous of the girl from, I don't even know, the, the Hunger Games prequel? Are you out of your mind? We, we have Sonic 3, which looks fun. Disposable. Fine. It's got Jim Carrey. I'm there. We have Lilo and Stitch. Live action abomination that somewhat looks interesting based on a teaser. Just don't go full bore nostalgia. They will, but I'm just hoping they don't. And then we have Snow White, which looks snow wrong. Just doesn't look good. Sorry. Maybe it doesn't help that I was never really a big fan of Snow White to begin with, the animated one. So I don't really have any nostalgic attachment to it. And I guess to its credit, maybe that's good. In this instance, much like Jungle Book, where I didn't have much attachment to that cartoon, maybe I can see this one and have a better time because they will take things slightly in a different direction. I, I mean, they've, they've said that many times in interviews. This isn't gonna be like that piece of crap animated classic. We're not doing some boy likes girl boring crap. Snow White this time around is gay or, or something. She's into fruit in a sexual way. Like, we're not doing any of this boring old school man woman crap we're gonna do something wild this is a snow white for the new gen <laughs> like is that all you have how about this is a movie that's going to capture the heart and spirit of the original but tell a new beautiful tale all right those are my thoughts on the trailers not 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 like really winning me over I'll say that, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping for some new stuff from Disney at some point. Again, that would be nice. 
I'd like to hear from you though. Let me know what, what trailer of these three, of this trio are you most excited for, if any at all? I, I could imagine some might not be thrilled with any of the releases coming out, but let me know in the comments. Please think of subscribing, hitting the notification bell so these show up in your feed, liking the video, and maybe think about becoming a patron. At patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, lots of offerings over there, exclusive videos every single month with different tier options starting at just a dollar. It helps keep the lights on. This is a one-man band. I put a bunch of work in and would appreciate a little bit of support. <laughs> so <laughs> it sounded like I was mad. I hey, I put a lot of work in. I would appreciate just a little bit of support back if that's not too much trouble for you. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. But also I did. All right, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.